Hey guys, what's going on? I'm here actually because of a request. People were telling me, well, what's the menu for Resistance 3 uh, like? Well, here's the menu that you see. Uh, obviously right here you just see multiplayer and options, but there will be a DLC as well, and also campaign, and there might even be co-op. I'm not sure yet, but for now, multiplayer is where the uh, beta takes place. Obviously there's matchmaking where you'll be able to choose anything, just put me in a game, which is super quick. Team deathmatch, chain reaction, again, both really fast matchmaking processes that just get you in a game and get you going fast. Then you can do private games, which is cool. You can set your own settings. So I could say team deathmatch, whatever map I want, however many players, do stuff like one hit kills, allow late joins, weapon damage, health regeneration, berserks, support ability, tactical ability, personal attribute, combat attribute. So all these things that you could tweak. Um, but most of, you think, most of these things you want to leave on except maybe one hit kill. That kind of sounds annoying, but hey, if people want that, you can have it. Let me back out of this one. There's the loadouts. This is what makes the game fun. When you first start, all you have is Survivor, which is a standard. Uh, basically, you get the carbine, a sharp metal grenade, uh, your ammo beacon, your doppelganger, uh, bandolier, and air cool. And now you can see there's stars on mine, which means I've upgraded them. But in this case, let's say the Survivor, if I go into the carbine, you'll see that one star is like, you know, shoots bullets at a high rate of fire and R2 lobs the grenades. Well, if you increase that to the second one, you get a bayonetta attachment on the bottom of the gun, which is very powerful melee strike. Uh, it's pretty much, if you sh shot the guy twice and you stab him, he's done. And of course, the, if you rank it all the way up to three stars, you get, you know, three grenades that, you know, this gun can shoot at once. So if you're in a room, there's two guys, you know, shooting at you, just shoot these three grenades uh, uh, by upgrading all the way and you should be able to devastate them. Uh, other things that you'll you'll be able to do is obviously uh, these are all standard built classes. You start getting stuff like the infected. You'll unlock these as you progress. So um, you know uh, once you unlock all the standards, you'll get custom builds. This is where it gets really interesting and really good. So in my case, my first one is Mark uh, Marksman, my favorite gun uh, on its most powerful upgraded. As you can see, all my weapons are fully upgraded. I could deploy a powerful mini turret that stays like alive pretty much the whole time until I die and it, it'll actually stay a little longer after I have died so if I put my mini turret in the right location I can take a whole bunch of guys out it's not too powerful but still it's really good for considering a gun that has really good power and really good range um, there's also the Rossmore which is a great shotgun and if you if you upgrade this um, you know uh, not only do you get incendiary bullets which just you know every time you shoot a guy cause you know uh, flames uh, you actually get to uh, shoot um, a secondary blast of just fire. It's like a it's like a grenade launcher slash uh, you know uh, explosive just fire everywhere and people catch on fire. Great advantage and great time for you to go in and do your damage. Then they have the mutator. Mutator's awesome. Uh, if you have it fully upgraded to the max, what you could do is mutate uh, an enemy into just like this bubble of just like some I don't know explosion explosive stuff and uh, you know what will happen is some cool stuff where like if I mutate a guy and his partners you know uh, are right behind him in a room he'll turn around he'll run into that room go as close as he can to them and, and explode which is pretty sweet uh, and of course with this gun you could also release like ink uh, you know uh, basically it's like a poisonous gas and uh, if you upgrade it all the way which I have You'll be able to keep that gas there for a while. So if enemies are in one spot all the time, you can force them out. Some cool stuff. There's Dead Eye, which is the sniper. Really powerful stuff. One headshot, game over. Uh, obviously, if you're upgraded, you get to uh, access different zoom levels, like super zoom or uh, you know further away. Uh, I've noticed that further away helps me uh, shoot more accurately. Uh, and of course, the last one, which is the proton charge, which is a snipe, which is one charge shot, and it allows you to shoot through walls and solid objects. I've seen people and where that might be going and they go behind a wall and usually uh, in first person shooters that's it like there's nothing you could really do uh, where in this game if you know where they're at you can shoot them through a wall and it feels so good we got the bullseye great gun uh, bullseye is uh, the, the thing that you could do with it is you could tag an enemy uh, which means if I go around the corner and I see an enemy and I tag him I could pull back behind cover lay him up in the sky and just shoot my bullets and my bullets will turn around and go back to the enemy uh, which is awesome um, of course if you upgrade it all the way uh, the tag that you fired um, you could basically tag not only another uh, you know a nearby enemy but you could once you tag that other enemy that other person will blow up 
uh, which is pretty pretty sweet stuff. So as you can see, they have a great arsenal of weapons. Of course, this is probably half the set that will be in the final game because that list does look like it could go further more. Um, and yeah, that's that's the incentives of wanting to play over and over again to build on your skill points, level up, and unlock more powerful weaponry. Uh, there's also perks and all sorts of stuff such as the spotter. What the spotter is is you see an enemy, you automatically tag them red. Your your partner see clearly see the enemy, and if they kill them, you get assist points, which is cool. And this one, if you upgrade it twice, you could get you could tag two guys at the same time. So really, really helpful stuff. There's the bubble shield. The ammo beacon. Uh, we got your, you know, the decoy, which is, uh, you know, in my case, the decoy now explodes when an enemy walks by it. Sweet stuff. Uh, we got the lightning shield, of course. Uh, if an enemy is really close to you, they get stunned, so it's harder for them to see you and try to hit you. Uh, if you have that upgraded, you can actually uh, do that to more than one person at the same time. Uh, the doppelganger is pretty much like a, a decoy that runs and mimics exactly what you do, but I prefer the uh, the decoy by itself because it really does throw the enemy off. Then you get stuff like air cooled barrel, uh, you know, increased rate of fire while in aim mode, increased move speed while in aim mode, strap, which is probably the best upgrade you could do, uh, simply because of the fact that if you have this upgraded twice, you could carry up to three weapons with you at the beginning, which is great. You could take a sniper with you, a shoddy with you, and uh, whatever, an assault rifle or something like that. And of course, there's the body armor. Uh, which not only increases your health uh, in the beginning stage, uh, it decreases your movement speed, but if you actually level it up one more time, you'll get back your standard uh, movement speed and have that extra boost of health. Uh, really, really cool stuff. So you have the bandolier you know, for uh, uh, clip sizes for all your guns, upgraded, you get it for all your weapons instead of your primary. Um, you got the gunslinger, which is accuracy and reload speeds. Uh, Leaper corpse, which, which a lot of people use, but a lot of people don't realize that they give away points by doing this. But once you die, if you have this activated, if I have it on level two, <coughs> at least four uh, leapers will come out and uh, come out basically after you and try to take you out. And two of them will be spitters, so they'll spit poison at you from far away, uh, and they'll track you down, man. These things are tough, but like I said, if you kill them, you get points for yourself and you benefit your team. Uh, tracker, you basically see um, the, the footsteps, and if you upgrade it, you uh, you see the hot to cold tracks, which means you, the ones that are like deep red, you'll know that enemies somewhere around there right now. If it's a little blue, you can actually use that to see where your enemies are constantly going. Uh, vital signs, you know, it's basically you see your health, uh, the, your enemy's health, which is in some cases very good. Uh, and of course, uh, if you upgrade that, you uh, you not only see that, but you also see the tactical attributes that and abilities that that uh, person's carrying along with them at that moment. Um, so as you guys can see, you know, there's a lot of custom builds. Once you level up all the way to uh, level 20, you'll get four of them. I had a fourth one, but again, my my game bugged down, and I'll work my way up, no problem. Just wanted to show you guys everything that the uh, game offers. There's also, uh, you know, you could edit your character, so. Um, you know, in my case, I was playing as Lester, but now that I'm level 16 or so, I could play as Susan, so I'm going to play as her. And as the Chimera, um, I'll be, you know, there's all these different class modes, which are pretty cool, but it's all about looks. It's not really uh, any uh, new classifications or upgrades or anything like that. So, let's stick with that. And of course, titles that you gain, you know, unlock 17, unlocks at level 20, you know, just giving you titles that people see so they know how good you are prior to playing against you. Uh, stuff like the profile, it's broken, it doesn't really work yet, but it will in the full game, obviously. It just keeps track of, uh, you know, all your stuff, your medals, your, you know, uh, like in this case, kill five people within ten meters of your decoy. I have five of five, I get fifteen credits. Now the credits you're going to be able to use down the line in the game to unlock uh, really cool content in the game. Bonus content, extra content, etc. Um, so yeah, there's a, a bunch of cool stuff, uh, you know, you can track all your all your stats in here whether it's campaign multiplayer or your rewards um, then of course there's, there's the leaderboards which are a little broken but you know they will they will work normally when the game comes out so um, other than that guys that's about it that's where you could you know send your invite but you know you have a little lobby list right here on the on the bottom right but um, I'm very excited about resistance 3.
uh, for the PlayStation uh, Network especially because uh, I, I don't play too many first person shooters online and this is one I would definitely consider a huge thumbs up from me. That's Avik from uh, Mahalo. Thanks for joining us.